Welcome to Source and Flow. And welcome to Indian Breakfast, featuring Carl Rock. Watch as I eat paratha with a man who hates vegetables. Cauliflower, yuck, spread throughout. Yuck, yuck. You don't like cauliflower. And I get his recipe for masala chai. My secret recipe, ginger and cardamom. Crush that up, put that in, and you're gonna have an amazing chai. Come with us on this journey to explore the North Indian breakfast. Today we are going to be trying some of India's most iconic breakfast food. We will be kicking off our morning with some masala chai. I gotta get that rush of caffeine before doing anything else. Then we're going to go and eat India's most famous paratha at Mulchand Parate Wali. This has got to be the most famous paratha store in all of India. And to complete our Indian breakfast trifecta, we'll be hunting down some egg borji, a kind of Indian scrambled egg. Today I'm going to be joined by a special guest, Carl Rock. Red, my man, what's happening? What's going on, man? Thank you for coming. Awesome, bro. So Carl, you actually said to me once that India does not really do breakfast. Is that right? Yeah, they don't really do breakfast. There's not this kind of culture of going out and eating, and especially not at breakfast time. This is changing now, you would have seen, but yeah, they especially don't go out and eat breakfast. They'll have home-cooked parate or paratas at home, actually. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I swear I've seen people, you know, crowding around the chai stalls in the morning. Chai, it, it, it's probably the rickshaw drivers who are getting ready to start their morning. You know, most people are drinking tea at home or, you know, having their breakfast at home. Regardless, India does have some foods that are perfect for what I know as breakfast. Let's start this off with some masala chai, the most classic of all Indian beverages. The rickshaw drivers and taxi drivers, they always know where the tea is. I'm new to Mulchand, I don't spend a lot of time in South Delhi, so let's go ask a few people where we can find tea now. Chai kaha milega? He says there's a chai wala just down here, so we go for a hunt now. And we can't find tea, and it's because it's South Delhi. Everyone here is drinking coffee these days. Eventually, we found our masala chai. So we're here at a roadside chai wala. So, Carl, are you more of a chai or coffee kind of guy? I hate coffee, man. I only drink tea. I just hate the flavor of coffee, yeah. I tried coffee and any, anything with coffee in it, I'm like, oh, yeah. So do you drink chai every single day? Every day, man, in the morning and in the afternoon, but not after four o'clock because it keeps me awake at night. So That's two what. times every day? Yeah, yeah, at wow. least, at least. So what is the secret to making good chai? Oh, I make my own tea as well. and. You've got to use buffalo milk, okay? Really? That's the secret. Overseas, we just get like cow milk, right? Um, but buffalo milk is, is the key ingredient. And then you need a lot of like uh, ginger and cardamom. Crush that up, put that in, and you're gonna have an amazing chai. Nice, lots of sugar too, right? I'm like a half sugar kind of guy. I don't yeah. like it too sweet. But if, if you're an Indian, you've got to put in double sugar for Indians. You want less sugar? Nah, it's fine. Okay. I'll have it the Indian way. The masala chai begins with sugar, milk, tea powder, and the chai wala's unique blend of added spices. The milk is brought to a frothy boil, and the chai is poured over a filter into small cups. Our chai is ready. It's only 10 rupees a piece. 10 rupees, two, bargain. <laughs> for two hot cups of chai. Cheers, man. Cheers, bro. Oh, watch out, that is burning hot. It's good, it's good though. Yeah, it has a really it's nice cardamom man. flavor. Yeah, he's added spices in there, a lot of spices. That's what you want from a chai wala. Someone who goes the extra effort and puts in some spices and knows what they're doing then. He'll keep people coming back because of that. Yeah, it actually tastes really nice. It's not too sweet either. It's not overly sweet. Elaichi, eh? Ah, chai masala? Elaichi, long and soft. Next up, Paratas at one of Delhi's most famous paratha walis. So we're here at Mulchand Paratha, perhaps Delhi's most famous spot for paratha. So you actually recommended this place. Now, why is that? Because so many Delhiites have recommended me to come here. So we're here by special request, man. So they say it's the best in all of Delhi. That's what everybody has told me. I've had so many Instagram messages about this because, really? yeah, because I love paratha so much and everybody kind of knows that, so. But you don't know what makes it special. This is totally new to you. Nope, everyone just says it's the best. If you're unfamiliar, paratha is a type of stuffed flatbread. It's often served up with some pickle and curd. 
So Indian pickle seems like the type of thing that people either kind of like love or hate. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about Indian pickle? I mean, the trick is don't eat the whole pickle. Just dip your bread and take a tiny piece of that pickle, okay? Yeah. Some people like put the whole pickle in their mouth and their mouth explodes. So that's yeah, the trick, yeah. right? Foreigners who might not know about the sour, pungent yeah. taste of the pickle. It's happened before. Personally, I cannot get enough of Indian pickle. I'll just eat that stuff straight up sometimes. What? Yeah. <laughs> I can only eat it with paratha. So which type of stuffing is your favorite? I'm a simple guy, so I only eat aloo paratha. That's all I ever go for. Oh, it's okay. like the cheapest and it's the tastiest, I think. I think so too, yeah. I love just that like lightly spiced mashed potato mixture. I think we might also try a gobi paratha because that's also one of the most classic, ubiquitous types of paratha. Yeah. So I'm not sure if there's a correct spelling of paratha in English. I've seen it written as paratha, paranta, parate, parota. What, what's correct? It's, it's tricky when you translate some words in Hindi to English because we just don't have a way to translate certain characters in Hindi properly. So yeah, you, you will get multiple spellings of parata. Nothing you can do about it. That's the way it is. All right, so they're all correct. Yeah. Do alu prata or ek gobi prata? Do alu ek gobi. Now is our chance to see how the paratas are made. The dough is stuffed with a mashed potato mixture and rolled out. The paratas are then lightly fried on a wide cooking surface until they're a shade of crispy golden brown. Number one paratha. Number one paratha. Number one paratha. That's quite a bold claim. These paratas may look beautiful, but let's see if the taste can match the hype. They're served with a packet of amul butter, yogurt chutney, and green chili pickle. So here we've got the two aloo or potato paratas. From the look of it, I'm not sure. It looks deep fried almost. This looks like it's a mix of both maida and atta, all-purpose flour and whole wheat flour. This middle one is gobi. You can see little chunks, little chunks of cauliflower Yuck. spread throughout. Yuck? Yeah. You don't like cauliflower? Oh man. <laughs> I love the, uh, the minced cauliflower, the texture it gets inside, you know? Uh -huh. And so it's pretty interesting actually, this chutney and pickle mix, I've never seen it served like that. Usually they're separate, am I right? Yeah, yeah, usually, but sometimes they mix it up. Just depends where you go. But this seems like it's, it's unique to Mulcha on this sort of presentation yeah. with the green chili pickle in the middle of this yogurt-based chutney. It's like yogurt and chilies and a few other bits and pieces. There's these chunky onions inside the chutney. It's time to top our paratas with this amul butter. All right, guys, so make sure you've dumped your butter on top and you've like mashed the butter all around there. Now let's see if this is the best paratha in the world. Like people have been telling me, let's see. I need one more taste. Mm. It's not the best in the world. <laughs> the best in the world is when you make it at home and like your mother-in-law's made it or your mom's, someone's made it for you. That's when it's the best, the homemade one. This is, it's good though. It's good, it's not the best though. All right. I gotta say that, sorry bro. That's sorry. our verdict right away. Well, it's time for me to try the famous paratha and see if it's really all just hype. There's like this nice lal mirchi powder. It looks like there's some coriander as well or some other herbs. Wow, I really love that pickle. You know, the first thing I noticed about this though is it is like a little more fried. It has yeah. a kind of like crispy, oily, fried exterior. Yeah, it's more oily than a normal paratha that you'd cook on like a pan at home, definitely. Right. And you can see the, that it's fried more as well. The best place you can get a paratha is actually like a daba, like a roadside kind of home cookery place on, on, on a motorway, basically. That's where you get the best one. That green chili pickle has a serious kick to it. Usually the pickling process kind of diffuses the heat, but this one is extremely spicy. I need some cooling yogurt chutney. A nice tangy kind of herbal flavor to that chutney. A nice twist on the usual plain curd that paratha is served with. This gobi paratha actually has a much different filling. You can see that it's covered in tons of masala spice. And it smells like pure garam masala. Take a dip of that gobi paratha over here in this curd. It's kind of a nice veggie crunch. Those little minced pieces of gobi or cauliflower. There's extremely strong flavor of garam masala. Let's face it, that gobi paratha had too much masala. Number one paratha, I think not. 
All right, dude, it's time to get our thumbnail for this video. Let's make right. this an epic thumbnail. Let's go. Carl, you're, you're supposed to be making the reaction face, man. We're making the reaction face, man. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Now it's time for my personal favorite type of scrambled eggs, egg burji. The egg burji starts with some green chili, onion, and spices in a frying pan. As they become fragrant, two eggs are added to the pan. They get scrambled into the veggies, and our egg burji is prepared. So here we have egg borgi. Now this is like an Indian scrambled egg mixed with spicy green chili and onion. This isn't the most glamorous example of egg burgi that I've ever seen, but it does the trick here on this roadside stall. Let's take a bite of that. Make sure we get some chunks of onion and green chili. The eggs are very salty, nice savory flavor to those eggs. Yeah, it's also really spicy. It's not overly spicy, but it's got a nice kick with those chunks of green pepper. And the onions are just lightly fried, nice crispy bite in the middle of the scrambled egg. So that concludes our tour of Indian breakfast foods. Carl, thank you so much for no joining worries, me. No worries, Rid. Anytime, man. We going? So nice to see you, yeah. Okay. Goodbye, man. All right. Wait. Are you walking this, the same yeah, direction as me? I'm going this way, man. I, I'm going this way, too. I, I gotta go, man. Like, I, I, you, you go the other way. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching our Indian breakfast tour. Subscribe to Source and Flow, hit the notification bell icon, and keep up to date with us on Instagram.